Hi Flosstube friends and family, I'm back. Um, I am sorry it's taken me so long to record this video. I've just been um, under the weather. Um, my husband and I have started going through fertility treatments again and uh, one of the new medicines that I got, it's made me so sick. I was almost, I was nauseous like 24 seven. Like I'd wake up and be like, Bleh. I threw up in bed. You might not want to hear that, but it happened. Um, and so I just didn't want to film a video because I was afraid that halfway through it, I just would make a mess. Um, but I did get a lot of cross stitching done. Um, so, and I have a lot of haul to show you because you know me, I buy a lot of stuff. So I have started to keep track in um, the calendar um, that I got of when I start and finish and work on whips so that I'm a, you know, I have a little bit better of an idea how long it actually takes me to stitch things and, and what I've done during a month because it'll feel like, oh, I haven't done anything. And then I'm like, wait, do you see all the stuff I've done? Um, so let's get started on um, what I've done this last month, six weeks. I have my stuff behind me, so. Um, Let's start with some finishes because I like finishes. Just a couple of small ones at first. I did this little Mill Hill um, going places. That was a lot of fun. So that's a little finish. Anyways, I did this little one. He's so cute. Um, another finish. I did this one. It's a little Lizzie Kate. I know God. I know God won't give me more. Won't give me anything I can't handle. I just wish he didn't trust me so much. This is actually done in um, the called for DMC, but also... Um, I'm having a major brain fart. Color and cotton. I had to go through like all the color company names. Um, and if you are interested in what I did, let me know uh, what, what I changed. Let me know. I have it. I did write it down. I started to do that. So, um, but I love this piece. One of my favorites. Um, another thing I stitched and finished, I was in the, um, our love nest stitch along the stitch Bella, we the stitch Bella Weasley, um, stitch along for our love nest. And this is what mine looks like. I changed the house to yellow because I have a yellow house and I changed, um, the, to purple because purple's my favorite color. And blue is my husband, so he got the little blue, um, the little houses. Um, DMC and color and cotton it was used in this. I made a major mess up, but I feel like I fixed it pretty well. If you know the pattern, um, you might be able to tell. You might be able to tell if you don't know the pattern, but I think it looks really good, and I'm really happy with it came out. Um, this is a. Uh, color cascade um fairies wear boots it's a very nice pink i really like it um this was on the fabric that came in the boxer um and then i stitched this for my brother My brother shares childhood memories and grown-up dreams. The boat was supposed to be white, but um, the white wasn't showing up very well. I tried a couple different types of whites, and they just weren't showing up. And so I just decided to do a black sail, a little pirate ship. Um, and this fabric is a um, October fabric of the month from Ship's Manor. So that was a little quick stitch that I did. Um, I also was a part of the Valentine stitch along, the tiny little Valentine. I signed it for the spring. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm busy working on a couple of other things. 
but I do like the little motif of day. Um, so really happy with this one. I don't think I changed anything in it. Um, so, and this is on a scrap I got. Oh, I can't remember which package it's from. Let me see if I can find out. Third notes. Sorry, guys. February 3rd, um, 32 count linen from Fiberlicious Grab Bag. Oh, you know what? I did change a little bit, I think, because it wasn't going to really fit how I liked. So I think I may have maneuvered a couple of things. That's right. I maneuvered the cupcake over and then the hearts were supposed to be stacked, but that was going to leave almost no room. So I did them lined out. So that's what I changed. See, that's why we keep notes now. Huh? Um, and then this one is a little different. So this is um, Secret Slay Society. And I got that all done. I am, you guys help me with this. I'm having an internal debate because I got tired of stitching all this fiddly stuff. And if I stop stitching the fiddly stuff, I'm done. Does it look good like this or should I keep stitching? I'm trying to. And down here, the band down here. It's really weird. Sorry, guys. Um, and finish it up. I wouldn't, I'm just not sure what to do. I'm not sure if it looks unfinished like this, if it looks good like this, or if I need to do the band at the bottom. The completionist in me is do the band. You gotta do the band. You cannot do the solid chunk in the middle, but you have to do the band. But part of me is like, I don't want to do the band. So you guys give me your opinion on that, please. Um, I do love this. It is so cute, though. And this was done, uh, I got the kit for this, so it was done on Picture This Plus Gingerbread 28 Count Lugana. Um, and my final finish, my big ta-da. Ta-da! I finished my Be Inspired Tattoo Stitch Along. I love this piece so much. Um, there's a couple of things that are changed, not on purpose, but you know, happy little trees. And now it's mine and only mine. Um, but I love this. And I did it on Sparkly's um, Dusk. Um, so it goes, it has like a white and then it goes to pink and then it goes to blue. Just a real subtle effect. That I thought would stand well against the colors in there. So that is my final finish for this last six weeks. I think I did pretty good. Um... I have a couple of, oh, here's the Boris the Bat um, Mill Hill that I did. I have a couple of, I'm not sure. I'm stitching this things I know for certain from our own Mkissa. And I love this pattern. What I don't love is my fabric choice. It's just so hard to see that I think I'm just gonna have to start over again and stitch it because it's just, I don't think it stands out as much as I want it to. Um, so this is a UFO, but I will be starting the pattern over again. Um, and I was stitching it with uh, color and cotton threads but it's it's the fabric it's it's not the pattern it's nothing else it's i made well, i made a poor choice and so i think this is a ufo and i'm gonna have to find a new pattern to stitch that on 
or a new fabric to stitch that pattern on because I do love that pattern. Um, so that's going to be a UFO. And then this one, me and it are in a fight right now. It's the Dash Away Stitch Along. This is the paper I've printed. It's it's fully finished. This was at Christmas. Um, but I started working on it and then had to move the hoop and realized somewhere along the line I mismeasured. Which really irks me. Um... So I'm thinking this might be a UFO and a restart at some point too. Um, I tried, I actually stitched this over here um, to see how bad it would be. Uh, I'm not sure. If you guys think it's salvageable, this is as far as it goes. It doesn't go any farther than this. Um, if you guys think it's salvageable and have ideas, let me know and I'll keep stitching it because it's about a third of the way done. Um, so maybe even more than that, maybe, but it's, you know, I'd hate to, I hate, I hate having UFOs. Um, but I don't want to keep stitching and not be able to do anything with it. So those are my two UFOs for this last month. Um, my whips, I'm still doing the Harry Potter stitch along. Um, I did Herbology, which was March's square. Um, I have not yet done, um, April square, which is, um, history of magic. Um, mainly because I was working on, um, a couple other things that I was really enjoying and didn't want to put down. Um, and I need to stitch the square and that's the boring part. Um, but here's what I have so far. The geraniums are supposed to have teeth, but I did not like those. So guess what? I didn't stitch them. I have seen some people in the square stitch. Um, I can't remember his name, the little stick bug from, um, Lord, my brain is broken tonight. Um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And so I might ask for that um, part of the little pattern and add him in because I think that would be really cute. Um, but yeah, I basically over here I need to stitch um, the, I need, well, I need to stitch all the squares, but um, this is where History of Magic will go right over here. It's like my nails. She did that with, she puts an overlay and then she takes a magnet and it does that stripe. Anyway, so that's my um, Harry Potter class stitch along done on dusk. Um, other whips. I joined, basically I've started everything. I finished everything that I've really started or have been working on. I just have two pieces right now that um, I've really been working on. I started um, a challenge group that you choose um, three things, a new, a new whip, an old whip, and then your choice and work on it for once, once a week. So the first week what I chose was my new whip and that is uh, Nora Corbett. Miss Columbia Knit Salad, and I love this piece so much um, that it was really hard. I actually started it early, um, which they said was fine. They said you could start early after I put in what my, you know, things were going to be. Um, so this is what I've gotten done so far. Um, pretty much all down here. I'm sorry. I have just beads and crinic. Um, this is a little bit of, s one of these is skin. Um, and the, all the holes in the skirt is, is beads. Um, and I've got the outline fully done for the wings. Um, and I am planning on trying to do one over one skin because she doesn't have very much of it. Um, and so I thought that that would, um, not be too disastrous of a try. Um, 
for this. And I got the full, I got the, the bee back, the kit from um, Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics. And she's amazing. I, I love getting my stuff from her. I'm actually, but I'm doing it on Color Cascade's um, Mystery Fabric of the Month. Um, I liked the way it's, it looked on the purple when I did a floss toss. So, um, and purple's one of my favorite colors. So there is that. I'm loving this piece. I had a hard time. Well, okay, I didn't have that hard of a time putting it down because I was finished with the wings and I was like, I need a break. <laughs> um, so that's one of my whips. And then the other one that I've been working on is for my friend Crystal. Crystal! And it is um, Mario Cross Stitch. Pa ABC pattern. Um, I have been having a little trouble with this one. I'm not as happy with the colors. They don't look like they do in that picture. And um, so it's just frustrating to me. And it's not because I'm stitching this on blue and it calls for beige. It's just like you see that sun, he's very orange and yellow but they had me stitch him in a lot of red. And it's showing up a little better here, but like this ninja guy does not look very, like he looks kind of purple, but not purple purple. And he's purple purple. He's not fully done. I need to stitch his eyes in. But this is where I've got to with that. Tell you what, stitching all this black in this guy, oh, just about drove me this guy, the black in him just about made me want to quit. <laughs> There's a lot. So that's where I've gotten on that piece. I'm actually starting to like it a lot better now um, than, than after that sun. That sun really had me questioning the pattern, but the rest of it's been pretty good. Um, and this is on a piece of 14 count Stellar that I got from 123 Stitch. Um, a while ago. Um, so that is that piece that I am doing. And then the next piece that I'm going to start is going to be a new start. And I actually need to go through my fabric tonight. It's going to be, um, House of Cooking, which first, um, Itty Bitty Brittany stitched and then, um, Abby stitched. Um, top knot stitcher and then um a perfectly perfect stitcher heather stitched it and then um she sent it to me so i'm gonna stitch it and when i'm done i'll pass it along as well um i'm actually doing a fabric pick for this tonight um and i'm gonna be picking fabric for my mania because i decided to do mania um I think I have my patterns narrowed down. It's going to come down to fabric in what I have. Well, I probably have it all. Um, but it's also, um, uh, I hate starting. For me, choosing the fabric and making sure it's right and everything else is so stressful. It's so like, I don't, oh, what if I got it wrong? Because I've gotten it wrong a couple times. Um, it's so, it's so stressful. So I'm, I'm like, ah. But I figure if I do 18 starts, then that'll be at least 18 projects that I have started and I've figured that step out already. So I don't have to have a pause when I want to start my next project. I can just go, hey, let's do this one. So I picked um, 18 projects that I really would like to do this year. And I'm like, okay, I, there's a couple of ones that I think I could do in a day or so. And there's a couple that um, will take longer, but I wanted to get started. And so, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, when I have all my fabric chosen and everything like that, I will definitely update everybody. Um, so that's it for my whips, my finishes, my UFOs, um, and all of that jazz. Let's get started on some haul. First off, because I have them right here, I got a bunch of needle minders from um, the Everyday Stitcher, Molly Peckham. I am in love with her needle minders. Um, and they're like, she was having like a dollar sale. Um, 
they're these little wood round needle minders and they hold they hold um everything real nice some i've i've gotten some that they're really cute and i love them but they're not very strong when it comes to holding a needle um and this one is great at holding a needle it's not it's not too flimsy or anything um i mean not it's i mean there are no delicious threads but um she's moving so i'm gonna give her a break um, but anyways, so these are some that I got. I got a little um, Thanksgiving Mickey, um, Lilo and Stitch, I'm Geeky, um, and then uh, Belle. I almost said Sleeping Beauty, good grief. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. So I got that set. I got Belle as Ravenclaw, which is my backup house. I'm totally a Hufflepuff, but if I wasn't, I'd be a Ravenclaw. Um, I just love this one of Doctor Who fighting weeping An Mario fighting uh, weeping angel ghosts. Um, Clone Club, um, Sestra. Um, I still haven't watched the last season. I'm so bad. It's like I don't want to say goodbye. It's like not wanting to finish a cross stitch project. I'm not ready to say goodbye. So they just sit there in, in perpetual torment. Um, and then this little truck one. And then Sword in the Stone, and then a little another Doctor Who one. So those are that one. Um, then I got Captain America. And then this is a Sherlock wallpaper type looking one. I love this Wonder Woman one. Santa and Rudolph. Jensen Eccles as Dean Winchester. Yes, please. And then um, Hogwarts Story, Starry Night. And finally, I got this one. I am totally her. Um, and then I had to get the Hufflepuff one. Um, Harry Potter wallpaper. Sestra. I actually got my sister hooked on that show, too. Um, and then Evil Villains. And then um, Mickey Minnie on Pluto. So those are mm, those are my new needle minders. And because I got so many new needle minders, I'm gonna have to get a new board. And I saw this on the clearance section: metal chalkboard sheet. How fun does this sound? This was at Hobby Lobby, and they had two of them, and I got both of them. And I got it home. And it is literally just a piece of sheet metal with chalkboard paint. I'm not mad. I just don't know how I'm going to hang that up on my wall. But at least now I have what I need to hang all my new minders up because I'm out of space. They're like double up on the board that I have right now. I am also a part of um, someone's D-Stash Facebook group and I got my stuff from them. Um, and a lot of it's like grab bags and, and like at Christmas I signed up, you know, I won a grab bag. So I wasn't, and I honestly did not remember everything that I claimed. <laughs> I think I only claimed a couple of items. Um, but I got this sweet sentiment from JBW Designs. Um, it says things like with love and affection, the tender leaves of hope tomorrow blossoms. Um, my heart to you is given... Oh, do give yours to me. Things like that. It's a bright old book. Um, so, yikes. Um, but it's pretty. Um, and then I got this one. Um, oh, Christmas tree. Thy candles shine brightly. Um, it's the full, all three patterns with all the buttons and beads and everything. Uh, it's really cute. I actually, I have the Halloween one. I think I have a, another one too. Um, so really, ha really loving, really happy with this one. Um, and then what I know I was, oh, too tight. I can't remember who showed it. I thought it was maybe McKenna or 
or Pam or Steph, but someone else showed this and I just freaking it makes me laugh so much. Oh, too tight? You just cut my head off. Yeah, it's too tight. Um, just so I got that one because it cracks me up. Um, this is a full kit, Let It Snow. It comes with the fabric and the wool and everything else. Uh, or the pearl cotton, not wool. Um, and the beads and everything. So that'll be really cute. Um, and fun to stitch up. And then it, I also got this pattern, Apples. Uh, Apple Star Delicious Stay Man Cooking Baldwin Mac Macintosh Wealthy Baking Wine Saps Roams in Cortland. So it's a cute little pattern. Um, and then just a couple pieces of fabric, just a small little piece of Rosebud Ada. And then just a piece of 18 count Charles Craft, just white. Um, got some random threads, um, some soy de Alger yellow, um, silk. It's really pretty. Um, 3045 DMC, um, 893 anchor. Um, and then some Overture heavy strandable four ply cotton. Oh, hello, Leia. My puppy just jumped up. She's confused because I'm sitting on the couch backwards. <laughs> um, so got all of those. My husband just walked in the room. And then just some random beads and, and uh, charms. So that's what I got from that. Most of my stuff, because it's been so long, I may have forgotten where I got it. That I just got the other day, so I knew exactly where I got it. I just got this the other day. Beach, please. Um, I got this in the dollar section, uh, which isn't really a dollar section. It's a value section at Target. Uh, it was $3 for this, but it holds the design and other things I need for it, so it'll work real nice. I also got my first Mama Joan bag. Um, and then on the back it says, um, my soul is fed with needle and thread. So I'm loving this. And I also got an eclectic possessions bag. This is so well made. I love this bag so much. I can't wait to start using it. So much my favorite. So those are my new bags. My husband's like, when are you going to have enough? And I'm like, never. Um, I got this is a kit. So-and-so in the UK is doing a royal stitch along for the wedding and for the impending birth. Um, and so I just went ahead and bought the full kit. It comes with all the DMC. It came with the Ada I chose. I chose the dark blue because I thought it looked real nice. And I chose the 14 count. Um, and it's not too crazy of a piece, like size wise. Uh, So they're going to release it in different parts and, and uh, so that'll be really fun. It also came with the beads I'm going to need for the piece um, as well as a pack of beading needles and a pack of needle needles on things. Um, and I gotta say, the only beading needles I have ever had have been Mill Hill beading needles and so I was like, dang, these are big! So that'll be fun to work with. Um, a couple of things I got off of Stash Unloading, Unload, Stash, I can't remember, I'm on, I'm on all of them, um, was my first couple of Dragon Dreams, um, the time I spend stitching, and it says, the time I spend stitching is never a waste, I do it to find what I thought I'd misplaced, that child who loves colors and textures at play, that magic, the magic that stitching melts trouble away, and 
I did not realize it, but this is chock-a-block full of specialty stitches. So I'm going to actually have fun learning those stitches. Um, so, uh, so I'm excited to do this. Um, and then the other one I got was Wings of Courage. Courage flits on such tiny wings, reminders of eternal things, inspiring us to face our fears and challenges throughout the years. For caterpillars too must die to soar again as butterflies. And that just really speaks to me. And this too has specialty stitches that um, I really am looking forward to trying. It's really tiny, guys. I can't... Anyways, I love these two pieces. Um, I'm so happy with them. Um, I picked up a cross stitch gauge from 123 Stitch um, because I have a couple of grab bags and like they're just like linen grab bags. And I'm like, well, I don't know what the count is. And you need to know the count to know if it's going to be big enough. Um, so I thought that would be a good buy. I also got a sticky bead mat beadsmith to try for my um, Nora Corbett and a couple of other things. Um, I love my tacky bob, but it leaves the beads kind of sticky. Um, and so I'm just, oh, I thought I'd try something new. Um, and Tracy P uh, mentioned this in her last video. So I thought I'd give it a, give it a go. Um, I also got, um, a subscription to the world of cross stitch so I got I've gotten two since I've started um, and then the, the free kits the free kits with that I've got in my um, just cross stitch and my little tabs um, and uh, I got fabric for um, winter carriage ride from the Frosted Pumpkin. It's oaken. Very pretty. And I got the um, fabric that I need for um, the spring the spring version. I've, I've stitched the autumn. I got the fabric for the winter. I have the fabric I have the pattern for winter and summer already um, and so this is the fabric for the spring one Sprite um, so I got that and then I got the uh, needle minder stitchery seeds quality stitches in every pack um, for to go with this one back in its little baggie. Um, I also ordered from Dankai Designs because I love her needle minders. I got this, I put a spell on you. And then the little free one she gave me with this cute little elephant. And then um, the other thing I got from her was um, one of those little sticky, um, it's a sticky um, needle minder. So I can put some beads on there and have a couple of beads right on my project. Thought I'd give that a try. And then, of course, she always sends some little candies. I haven't eaten them yet. I've been a good girl. Um, let's see. Random piece of beads. I got, um, I believe I got this from Kelly Ann, um, the dyed panda on her, one of her stash unloadings. Spirits and spells. Um, and then I got hometown holiday series, town church. I just, I really like this for a Christmas, small, small Christmas piece. Um, and then I love this one, Festive Little Fob Stitching Edition. Uh, and then I got, um, this one I believe I got from 123 Stitch. It's um, reading, um, and it comes with all the classic color works you need for it. And then um, 
I wasn't going all super crazy all over market. It's, it just wasn't what I was doing. But afterwards, I saw a couple patterns and I was like, those I do want. Um, and the first one I saw was God Save the Queen. I love the Victorian Albert story. Um, one of the things I missed getting to see on my la on the when I had to cancel London this trip was the, the Victorian Albert Museum um, in Kensington and and uh, things like that. But um, so I got this one. Um, I actually got that one through um, Jen's Jeanish. Um, and she sent with it um, this pattern. She's a very cute um, April's Angel. So I do, I love that. Um, and then once I heard the story behind, like I liked the pattern, but once I heard the story behind it, I was like, I need, I need to get, I need to have that. So I got this through uh, Trisha at Three L Threads. Believe me, I have a bunch of broken needles. Um, I got this because I love my home state of Nevada. It's my home state now. California used to be. Um, but this is nice. It has um, the state flower um, and, you know, the Nevada, you know. I don't know if that's supposed to be the Sierra Nevadas or like a ghost town or something, but it has, you know, playing cards and the state bird. Um and it, it's a full kit, comes with everything. So I just thought that would be a cute little stitch. So I got that. A um, couple of not yet stitchy related items. Um, but I might make them into our, I got some tea turtle buttons or pins that I might make names into needle minders. I got Gamer, as you can see behind me. Um, and then I got the Hufflepuff cat. And I got I Heart Crafting Octopus. Um, no cross stitch, but he is uh, knitting. So I got those three little ones. I got um, two more from um, Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics. I got um, Mill Hill Miss Goss Swallow Tail. I love this one. She's so pretty. Um, and, um, uh, Thistle. And then, uh, all the beads in the Pranic for those, for those that I need. Um, so there's those that I got. I'm looking forward to starting. I did get some stuff from, uh, Stitchy box. Um, they're having like a their red box. They had a red box, so I got some uh, silver lined ruby beads. So pretty, and then I got some garnet rounds. Just I'm a January baby, and garnet's my birthday, so I can use those. And then I got some of this. Um, spotted fabric to try because I just there are certain patterns I see people stitching on it um and I just adore it so I wanted to give that a try look what I got this stitchy box um let me check one thing And then with mind my me mind my needle finished this pattern and I said, does anybody want to do a swap? And I said I'd love to do a swap. I sent her our love nest and some um, other threads, and she sent me the bookstore with some DMC. So I'm very happy with this. Um, and then. You know, finally, um, you guys, I went Lizzie Kate crazy. Um, I didn't have very many Lizzie Kates. I kind of was of the mind of, I'll just slowly gather them. You know, if I see them on sale, I'll pick it up. Um, that's why I don't wear headbands. They pop off my head. Um, 
But with her going, you know, into retirement, I just was very much like, you know what, let's just get what I, I went through and I made like three or four page long list of patterns of hers that I wanted. And then I kind of went through and said, which ones do I need now in case they, I'm, nothing else is ever available. Um, so, so that's pretty much what I, I did. Um, and then if I saw someone selling some, I picked them up and, um, and happily was like, oh, I'll take that. So first I got all that I need for Halloween rolls. I got the full set for Halloween rolls. Um, now I also have some Christmas rules and things like that because for me, they, they also work individually. Um, and if I wanted to stitch those, um, if I wanted to stitch those up, um, then I have those available as well. Um, so I have uh, fa la 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 as you decorate and holiday traditions or honor traditions. Um, both of those I really liked. I really like individually. Um, so I was happy with that. Um, and then I got Lizzie Kate, be silly, be honest, be kind. Um, because that's kind of who I am, is um, those three. Um, so for me, I really liked that one. I got Lizzie Kate, quick it, be naughty, save Santa a trip. Um, also got don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Um, I got Bless Our Family. And Forgive, Move On, and Think Happy Thoughts. Fear Less, Hope More. When You Stop Believing, You Get Socks and Underwear. I love that. That cracks me up. Housework never killed anyone, but why take a chance? Work. And apparently, bless our family again. Um, I also got this um, inspiration boxer. Good friends are like angels. You don't have to see them to know they are there. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. A couple of cute little bees. Um, and I cannot count my day complete till needle, thread, and fabric meet. Um, I also got the kit for Dear Rudolph because I just think that is stupid adorable. I'll be a real quick stitch. Um, I got spring. I've got Tiny Tidings X1X. 20 or 19, I think that is. I just got all those. <laughs> okay, this one I had to get. Um, I remember the year 2000 bug. Uh, bug off Y2K. Uh, I graduated in 2001, and I definitely remember the fear over the Y2K bug. Um, and I just thought I needed to, I needed to stitch that. Um, I also got My Secret Garden. My Secret Garden is one of my favorite books um, and movies. Um, so I'm going to get that. It comes with, I got it with the uh, embellishments. Um... Tiny Titans XX1 21. They're just so adorable. Um, and I got the Autumn Smalls. Dear Santa, I've been good all year. Okay, most of the time. Once in a while. Forget it. I'll buy my own presents. 
This is, I love this. I want to stitch it for my sister. Just kidding. She'd never buy her own presents. Maybe I'll stitch her naughty nice. I tried. Um, and then the last one I got was the ABC Lessons Kit. Um, accept differences. Be kind. Count your blessings. Dream. Express thanks. Forgive. Give freely. Harm no one. Inspire hope. Judge not. Keep confidences. Love truly. Master something. Nurture. Friendships. Open your heart, play quiet fears, reciprocate, scatter joy, treasure family, understand, value truth, waste nothing, exercise, yearn for peace, zealously support a worthy cause. And this was one of the last ones, so I got the Weak Sty Works instead of the Crescent Colors, but I'm fine. I love Weak Sty Works. So that's my Lizzie Kate haul. Um, and that actually is, oh, and I also forgot to mention, Got it again. I got um, one of the beadsmith beads for my mill hills that I can get and have. So I have all that and I have like seven empty. <laughs> all of the others have beads and whatnot in them. Uh, so excited with that. I stopped by Hobby Lobby. Um, my Hobby Lobby has zero cross stitch clearance. For what I did pick up, I picked up some fat quarter pieces that I thought would be good for backing some different projects. This was on clearance, so I picked it up. I thought this would be a cute to mount a cross stitch on. Uh, and then I did get some perforated paper, a white and a silver, um, just to have on hand. Because I'm going to be doing some more of my Brooks Books fairies, and uh, I need the paper for those. Um, so finally, um, a, a couple of books I got from, um, Goodwill, um, to show you real quick, Cross Stitch Christmas from Hand and Heart, just a few patterns on the back, um, and then I got Christmas Stockings in Cross Stitch by Cooler Designs. And inside was the 12 days of Christmas. Um, but the weirdest thing I got is Christmas and cross stitch. It's not a book, you guys. It's a binder with different patterns and how to do like card boxes and just for the mantle, for the kitchen, for the home for him um for the tree for her for the kids um just lots of cute little things but i was just like it's a freaking binder um so i was i was surprised pleasantly by uh this this find at the goodwill store um I thought I was almost done. And then I remembered. I put all my um, monthly clubs in a different place. All right. So I'm still part of uh, most sales monthly grab bags. And um, this was one month. You smell so good. Um, and then another month was these colors. So I'm just going to show you things as I grab them out, not necessarily, not necessarily as order of when I got them. This is Fiberlicious. This is um, January, according to the circle on the calendar, or... Nope, I think it's February's. Woodland. I always get opalescent and fiberlicious. I love this. It has the, the pink modeling in there. It's so pretty. I think I might have to do a fairy on it. Um, this one is fiberlicious. This is April. Poseidon's Cave. Um, 
Lots of, I love this. That's a nice one. This is March's Fiberlicious Persephone. Very pretty. Greens and pinks. And then I got my color and cottons. I got um, Rosewater Lugana. That's pretty accurate right there. Those are very cute. And then I got Apple Tart. That's pretty good. And then um, I got Lemonade Ada. It's a nice yellow. And then um, Petunia, another light, nice pink. I got... Um, <laughs> Sorry, guys. I joined, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't help myself any longer. I joined um, Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. Um, I joined at the end of March. She'd already sent out March, but she had some left over, so she sent me some of those. So I got March, and I have received April already. And I don't remember which is which. Um, I got Cheerful Blue. A little bit more tealy than it's showing up on camera. Um, stroke of Midnight. It's a little bit darker than it's showing up, but it's still gorgeous. Um, pink Pearl. Glowing Campfire. It's not that bright. It's, it's, it's a little darker of an orange. Mint Tapestry and Peggy's Primrose. So I get the limited edition. And then Garden Rose. That's a beautiful variegated variegation. Easter Special. Gold Dust Yarrow, um, Best Prim Purple, Sweet Orange, and Pretty Pink Petals. I also got my Weeks Dye Works um, nest eggs. Weeks. That's. And then um, I got this set. We're into the seas. All of those. We're very happy with those. I've gotten two color and cotton. Um, seen most of these. Miami, Wisteria. It's much more lilac in life than that's showing. Verbena, Leprechaun, and Flamingo. And then I like these, the Wildwood, 
much more brown. Clay pot, the accurate. Inkwell, I love inkwell. And dried sage, much more brown. I guess, I mean, it, it's, it's greenish, but it, not, it's a little better. So 11 notes. I got my um, fabric of the month, new Jaslyn from uh, Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Aang. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a very light peachy pink. It's very nice and I love the, the feel of it. And then uh, I got March's Fabric of the Month from Under the Sea Fabric, which is Galeen. I love this one. Um, and what Fiberlicious, I forgot. Um, Fiberlicious Sweet Tea. I think this is February's. That first one must have been um, January's. Hi, Mom. Okay. Yeah, but you were in the video. You're not in there. <laughs> I love this one. I love the color combos. They went out right after they ate. I love this one. Um, and then I have some Color Cascade ones. This is called After the Rain. It was January's Fabric of the Month. This is gorgeous. <laughs> February's is called Golden Touch. And it is a nice soft pink with some gold. See, the threads, I was having a hard time, but the fabric's coming up pretty well. This is a really pretty one. I really like it. I love my color cascades. It takes a while to get here sometimes because she's in Australia and I'm not. Um, but it's totally worth it to me. And the price is amazing. So, and this is March's. She just says March 18. So it it might be like a one-off die that she's doing. Sometimes she does that. But it's a nice green. It'd be good for a Halloween piece. And those are all my color cascades. And then finally on to Ship's Manor. Um, Ship Manor offers both the fabric of the month and they have a prim of the month. Um, and it's not a club, something that you sign up for and automatically charged and he ships it to you. Um, if you follow him on Facebook, he posts, Hey, the, um, fabric of the months are out and you go and he has, there's a certain time frame, And if you buy it during that time frame, he'll make it and ship it. If you don't, you don't get it that month. Um, same for his thread of the months. Um, so um, I didn't care for his March prim, so I just got extra large size of his March fabric of the month, which is this gorgeous green, which is a little bit brighter than it's showing up in the camera right now, but it is a gorgeous green. So that was his March fabric of the month. Um, and then his April fabric of the month is a nice pale green yellow and I got his August prim or his April prim so it makes me think of like Adobe 
brick, not, you know, PDF reader. Clay, that sort of thing. So those are my, my ship's manners. And now that I'm drowning in cross-stitch stuff, that's the end of my video. And it's just about an hour. And I swear to myself, every time I'm going to try to do less than an hour, but I buy too much stuff. Um, don't tell my husband I said that. I will vehemently, vehemently deny it. Um, and I don't know if I've said on here before, I am going to StitchCon in June. Um, and I'm super crazy excited about it and super crazy scared because I've never flippin, flippin, flown that long by myself. Um, I've done like hour jaunts to Southern California or to San Francisco or things like that, but not five hours. Um, and I'm looking at getting my room and it's going to be so much fun. Um, and my husband thinks I'm crazy, but one thing I am doing is I printed off the list of floss tubers and I am going through trying to watch everyone's floss tube. Who's going to be there. Um, if you're highlighted, I've already watched you. Um, so slowly working my way through the list and finding new cross stitchers. Um, so hi to anybody who's doing the same thing I am. Um, can't wait to see you. Um, and I'm tired. <laughs> uh, we're getting new stitchy. I'm getting a new stitchy spot. I picked out a new recliner. It has lumbar support and it's, it's uh, automatic and leans me back. It is going to be so amazing and so nice. Um, so we're going to get that, we have to ordering that and then getting a new couch for my husband because we can't have this giant monster that we have right now and have a stitchy chair for me. So I'm excited and that's, that's something new coming up. Um, so that's it. That's my video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with me being gone way longer than I wanted to be gone. Um, but I am doing better. We found out what medicine was making me so sick and have been switching me off. And, um, it actually was my anxiety medicine um, that that we switched me to. And um, it just was making me too sick. So I was able to go back on my other one. But there's been some transition periods with that that have been rough. But things look now they're on the upturn um, and I should be 100% soon. Um so yeah we're very very happy my parents are, are finally they got their house they were doing final touches before they move into it so pretty soon it'll just be back to me and the puppies during the day um and you know big news i hit 200 subscribers i'm actually over 200 subscribers so um i'm putting some finishing touches on a giveaway um and things like that so um Stay tuned. My next video, I will post about the giveaway. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun news. You guys have to come back next time. All right. I love you guys. Bye.